Devastating scene in Utah, a massive 22 vehicle pileup on a Utah interstate. Eight people were killed, four of those children under the age of 15. Ten people taken to hospitals, a dust or sandstorm being blamed for reducing visibility and causing this crash. It all happened yesterday afternoon, about 160 miles south of Salt Lake City, sparking a huge emergency response. And one of those first responders, Sergeant Cameron Roden of the Utah Highway Patrol, joining us live tonight with more on what led up to this crash. Walk us through the scene when you arrived. Um, so there was emergency vehicles. Uh, a lot of people responded from multiple counties in order to handle a scene this large. Um, we had vehicles scattered all over that uh, were involved in this crash. Multiple vehicles uh, had, were impacted and uh, we were trying to uh, triage, make sure everybody got the, the proper care that they needed uh, and trying to start the investigation as to see what actually occurred. And in terms of this dust storm, how limited was visibility? Well, when we arrived on scene, we still had uh, winds, but uh, from what we can see, the, the dust storm was much worse at the time of the collision, causing very low visibility, uh, which caused the initial accidents involving a semi truck. And then after the semi truck had crashed, we had three significant impacts that hit the back of that semi truck, causing the serious injuries and fatalities. What can you tell us about the people involved? Um, so we had five fatalities out of one vehicle. We know that those uh, five individuals were related. Um, and then two uh, fatalities in one other car, uh, a husband and a wife. And then we had uh, one teenager die from a third vehicle. It is just devastating to see. I know these dust storms roll in with very little notice uh, in your state and others. What advice do you have for people uh, when they're out there on the roads? It's almost like a blizzard. What do you do? Um, with low visibility, we need to decrease our speeds. Um, and, and unfortunately, we still have vehicles coming in at, at higher speeds, uh, which cause some of these higher impacts. Um, so if we are able to slow our speeds and slow down and only be able to maneuver as, as fast as we can safely do so, um, hopefully we can avoid uh, collisions. But if we are involved in one, we'll be traveling at slower speeds and, and hopefully reduce injury. And Sergeant, we mentioned a number of people were taken to the hospital. Do you have an update on their conditions and how they're doing? Um, so we had 10 people transported last night. Uh, three of those were in critical condition. Um, one of those died through the night, which uh, led to our eighth fatality. Uh, but as far as I, I know, they've improved, hopefully, and we have not had any more fatalities at this time. Such a horrific tragedy. We appreciate the work that you and your teams are doing out there to keep everybody safe. Sergeant Cameron Roden with Utah Highway Patrol. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me.